Good morning, colleagues. Sante Nisana, thank you for coming uh, for this uh, brief news conference that will outline <clears throat> some of the President's activities ahead of his uh, five-day walking tour of the Mount Kenya region. During his tour, President Futo will launch uh, various projects aimed at improving the quality of the lives of the people in line with the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda. This agenda uh, will keep on repeating and reiterating, as the President says, prioritizes bringing down the cost of living, eradicating hunger, creating jobs, expanding the tax base, improving our foreign exchange balance and promoting inclusive growth uh, through interventions in five core sectors of agriculture, MSME's uh, development, uh, housing and settlement, universal health coverage, and uh, digital superhighway and creative economy. The development tour begins tomorrow on Saturday, 5th August 2023. The President will kick off the tour in Gidurai, Kiambu County, uh, where he'll commission the Gidurai Water Supply Project. Uh, the project will supply about 35,000 cubic meters uh, of water per day uh, to serve over 500,000 500, residents uh, of Ruiru, Gidurai, Muihoko, and Kahawa, and will provide water connections to about 8,400 people. Also on Saturday, President Futo will commission the redevelopment of Kidurai Market. Now this comes just three days after the State Department of Housing and, Develop and Urban Development, as you all witnessed, advertised uh, for the construction of 72 markets uh, across the country. The President promised to build a total of 400 markets over the next three years to fulfill his commitment to Mamamboga and dignify their hassles by providing them with modern markets across the country. Later on Saturday, the Head of State will commission the Kagio Water Supply Project in Kagio Town, Kirinyaga County. He will also commission uh, the upgrade of the 42.5 kilometer uh, Marua Kwa Wambui Road, a critical infrastructure, of course, that will ease the movement of goods and services and spa development in uh, Madira, Nyeri County. Throughout the day, the President will engage, as he always does, with the residents in those localities, concluding with a Meet the People tour in Karatina Town in Nyeri County. On Sunday, 6th August, the President will host an interdenominational prayer service at the Sagana State Lodge, and later in the afternoon, he will chair a meeting uh, with the leadership of the region. On Monday morning, the Head of State will officially launch the upgrading to bitumen standards and maintenance of the 45-kilometer Ichamara Kariti Road in Mukuruweni, Nyeri County. Also, on Monday in Tetu Sub-County, uh, President Futo will commission the Kaigonji Water Project and thereafter commission the Odhaya Water Project, which will benefit uh, 60,000 people uh, with 216 new sewer connections. The President will also open the Nyeri Stage and Bus Park, expected to ease congestion at the terminus. On Tuesday, 8th August, President Futo will chair a cabinet meeting at Sagana State Lodge. Uh, afterwards, we'll open a new Kenya Cooperative Creameries facility in Kiganjo and host a regional leaders conference again at the Sagana State Lodge. He will conclude, President William Ruto will conclude his tour on Wednesday 9th August, uh, starting with the opening of a three-storied 175-bed uh, capacity level 4 hospital uh, in Naromoru. He will then witness the groundbreaking of Gishugu Affordable Housing Program in Kirinyaga County, uh, which is part of the 200 units per constituency program, uh, which again he promised to do. And I think two days ago, the State Department of uh, uh, Housing and Urban Development again uh, called for uh, or advertised for such projects in several uh, constituencies across the country. That's the first phase. The project entails the construction, this project in Gishugu entails the construction of 140 housing units. Uh, the head of state will then thereafter witness the groundbreaking of another affordable housing project in Thika, Kiambu County, which will provide 975 units with 20% of those reserved for civil servants. All these projects and especially all the planned water projects in the region are in line with the government's water storage program, which aims to construct 100 mega dams, 1,000 medium dams, and 4,000 small dams, and also connect 6 million new households across the country to clean and safe water. 
in the pipeline in this program are strategic projects like Mzima 2 pipeline, Darugu 2 dam, Maragua 4 dam, Galana, uh, the High Grand Falls dam, Two Rivers, Sabaki Water Carrier, which are all currently at the public-private partnership unit of the National Treasury for processing. In agriculture, as you are aware, President Ruto on Wednesday launched the second phase of the fertilizer subsidy program ahead of the short trade season. A bag of fertilizer now retails at a subsidized rate of 2,500, down from 7,000 shillings uh, when the president assumed office in September last year. This follows, of course, the second phase of the fertilizer program, follows a very successful uh, long-range fertilizer subsidy program in which 3.5 million uh, bags were distributed across the country. Over 5 million farmers registered online, the first such exercise uh, in Kenya's history, uh, with a projected yield of 44 million bags for the long-range season alone, surpassing last year's entire production of 41 million bags. Specifically, 454,168 bags of subsidized fertilizers were distributed in the counties of Nyeri, Muranga, Kiambu, Kirinyaga, Meru, Tharakanithi, Embu, Nyandarwa, and Laikipia, at a cost of almost 1.5 billion, covering various value chains, uh, including tea, coffee, and rice, among others. The President, of course, continues to urge the uptake of this fertilizer and redoubling the use of fertilizer per acre uh, by the farmers, and of course, for the registration of farmers uh, to the platform, on the digital platform. The promise to establish the county aggregation and industrial parks to support aggregation, agro-processing and value addition initiatives is also well underway. Phase one includes 12 counties ready for groundbreaking, including Meru, Embu and Kirinyaga, uh, while four will be ready by the end of August. In phase two, 19 counties will be ready for groundbreaking by mid-September. The county aggregation industrial parks will be established in all 47 counties in a collaboration effort between the national government and county governments uh, as aggregation centers for local produce destined for local and export markets. These parks will also have value addition sections, as I said, to boost manufacturing and increase farmers' returns. Elsewhere, another very important thing is happening in our plan for food security and agriculture in Busia County today. The President's plan and pledge to revive the cotton sector has kicked off uh, with the delivery of 17 tons of BT cotton seeds to farmers. The Busia Cotton Project will act as a template for the government's plan to increase yields and boost all agricultural, agricultural value chains uh, across the country. 800 kilograms of lint and cotton seed cake per acre will be produced on 11,253 acres in the first phase in that county, and of course collaborating again between the national government and the county, so the national government and the county of Busia, which will translate to more than 9 million kilos, 3 million of lint and 6 million uh, of cotton seed cake. Farmers will get earnings through the sale of both lint and cotton seed cake. Currently, farmers only sell lint. Uh, in this project, 11 cooperatives have been selected in Busia in the push to return around cotton production and enhance other agricultural value chains. Uh, the cooperatives will be revamped and turned into multi-purpose circles, circles, sorry. and 12,000 Kenyans have been registered as cotton farmers on the Kenya Integrated Agriculture Management Information System platform. As I said, it's important to say all this because the Busia Cotton Project